I'm going to add the bleach to my fresh tank so that it can get all churned up while I'm driving to Eugene. I just pulled into Tugman State Park, Eel Lake. I think there's maybe several different sections of Tugman, and this is the Eel Lake section. I'm going to stop for a little bit, have some lunch, stretch, and then I'm going to um, fill up my Berkey before I start lunch. Just before I leave, I'm going to add the bleach to my fresh tank so that it can get all churned up while I'm driving to Eugene and then I'll dump it in Eugene and um, and that should that should do it for my system. I am going to fill up the Berkey before I disinfect my fresh water tank. Sounds a little weird I guess huh? But the Berkey filters everything so that's not a concern. And I want to add the bleach to my fresh water tank because that's supposed to be done every six months. I'm going to have to research that and see if there's a better way to do that because I don't like the idea of using bleach but I do have a little bit on board just for that specific reason and I'm filling it before I do anything else because it takes a while and when the water is all the way at the top then um, it'll slosh out if I'm driving so I'm going to uh, put the lid back on and um, if you notice there's rubber bands around the around the top that's so that the lid doesn't rattle while I'm driving I have it strapped in and um, what I do when I need to use it is I just unbuckle it and move it to the edge of the counter and then and then fill fill from here I picked up this funnel at Walmart the other night so that I could easily add bleach to my fresh water tank um, it was just sitting here on the on the bench I'm going to put it on my driver's seat so that I don't forget to put the bleach in my tank before I drive off because that's something that I might do. <laughs> Alright, lunch is over and I read up on how to sanitize my fresh tank. I might not be following all the rules exactly as they are, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, so my tank is about it just says it's 26 percent full okay, the bleach is in the back one so i have to take this one out take my cord out and then slide this forward it's in the back because i use it every six months these are uh, waterproof containers that I got at the container store. Mostly they, they were the right size, but also waterproof. <laughs> so I've got my bleach. I'm going to kind of guesstimate on the amount. I read several different websites like I usually do, and they all kind of disagreed on how much. So I'm going to go with the quarter cup for every 15 gallons. Um, I've got a 40 gallon tank that's 2.66666 so I'm going to actually go for three approximately three quarters of a cup I don't know I'm not going to actually measure it out I'm just going to guesstimate I think it'll be good enough and this weather is so incredible I hope it's this good when I'm going back south because there are so many things that I wanted to stop and see let's try and do this without getting any bleach on me and in a manner in which you can actually see I don't know that might not work <laughs> okay you get the idea I'm putting bleach in the tank trying not to get it on anything guessing that's about the right amount I'm gonna move over to where the RV dump is. I just happened to have stopped at a, one of the state parks that has an RV dump for lunch. I didn't plan it that way. Um, just a happy coincidence. God, I haven't ridden my bike in a while. When I get to Corvallis I'm just gonna park the van 
and leave it there until I have to go up to Portland and just ride my bike everywhere. That's how I, that's how I roll in Corvallis. One of the reasons I love it so much. I'm going to drive over to the dump area because they, they should have fresh water there. Let's get this hose out, fill up my tank, and then I'm gonna let it slosh around all the way to Eugene. This is a flat hose that I got off of Amazon. I love it, it works really, really well. Um, also in the background, you hear a motor going. There's a volunteer vacuuming the street. And so this is a really well-maintained park. I'm at the campground area at the dump station now. It likes to be held. <laughs> it just works better that way. The other thing I need to do is clean this out, get the bleach out of it. Filled up the tank completely. I'm going to put the hose away. I am going to rinse out the little funnel thing. Then I'm going to turn the water pump on and get all of the bleachy water all the way through the system, including the shower. I really, really love this hose. Every van lifer needs, needs one of these. If you have fresh water at all, if you're not just doing jugs, which I know a lot of van lifers do just jugs, which is totally cool. But if you have any kind of a water tank, I highly recommend this hose. I'll put the Amazon affiliate link down in the show notes. Cause look at how small it, it folds up and it's a 25 foot hose. I'm gonna go turn on the water pump. So what you're doing with this is you're running the water until you smell the bleach. Um, so that you make sure that the bleach is going through the whole system. I got the tank all filled, got the bleach in there, I got the bleach run through the system, you know, run through the pipes. So it's going to be a bleachy kind of a rest of the trip. It's going to smell a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, so I think next stop is Eugene. I haven't been there in over three months. I left on August 24th. So here we go, back to what could be considered home, although I really consider Corvallis home. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work because um, it doesn't look like I have potable water here. And that means that I'm going to dump the fresh tank, but it'll be empty. So I won't be able to dump it again unfortunately. I can do that out at Trevor's. Um, he's out in the country and he's totally not going to care if I'm dumping fresh water with a tiny bit of bleach in it. I might have a problem because I don't think, I don't see a connection on the fresh tank dump thing. Since it's fresh water, I think I can probably just open it up and dump it. It's going to be splashy though. Blah. I think I'll move up and over a little bit so that it's on the concrete. I got my gray tank completely emptied. I didn't finish emptying the fresh tank. It's mostly empty. I'm gonna finish that at Trevor's. There's a hill there. Um, Cause I know no matter what I do here, if it's flat, I can't get it all the way empty. So this morning I'm at Trevor's up on the McKinsey River and um, he has a, a very hilly driveway. So I backed down his driveway to finish emptying that tank. Um, then what I did was I put about a quarter of the amount of water, so about 10 gallons, into the freshwater tank and then pushed that through the faucet uh, to where my gray tank was about 19%. And now I'm draining that, added a little bit more water. So where I'm at right now is I have my uh, gray tank at about 13% and um, and my fresh water at 7%. He's on well water so there is no chlorine in his water at all. So um, if I were filling up with in a place that had chlorine already in the water then I would probably redo that whole thing again to get all the chlorine out. But 
I'm pretty confident with this size tank, so I have a 40 gallon tank, that, um, that the small amount of chlorine left in the system is gonna be fine, and I do not drink directly out of that tank. I only drink um, the filtered water through the Berkey. Fresh water going in, I don't normally use a garden hose, that's all Trevor has, and that's the only way to get the water all the way to my tank. So what I do is I run all the water through it so that none of the hose water go is going into my tank, it's just flow through. Um, and then I also have my gray hose attached and draining over there um, because it's all clean water that I'm draining right now. I don't normally just drain into somebody's yard. I just got the fresh tank half full. I have a 40 gallon tank. I don't need 40 gallons. So I have, um, I just put 20 gallons in approximately. And now I'm going to button it up and put the hose away. So my gray tank is at zero and I ended up with 68% on the, on the fresh tank. So a little bit more than half. I'm confident that I have good clean water for another six months.